Well, it's the first time that we have Will McLennan joining us on the Bruin Insider Show, UCLA basketball player for Nick Cope. I'm Brian Fenley. Will, thanks so much for being a part of this and, and making time for the show. Thank, thank you for having me, for sure. So given that this is our first time having you on, we're really excited to, to glean from your personality. And when you look at this team, where does your personality shine out the most? Um, I feel like in the locker room, like on the planes, I feel like we all got good personalities and we all really mesh really well. And it's, it's just like a brotherhood here. So all our personalities show, honestly. What, uh, what, what's it been like for you kind of settling in now this year? Obviously you get hurt last year. I have to imagine you're just kind of getting your feet under you. Right. So now this feels like the year for you that where everything's set up, you're healthy, you're fully integrated in. How are you feeling with where you're at right now? And, and, and what's ahead for you this season? I mean, I feel good. And I've had the same mindset ever since I was young. I just want to get better every day, regardless of what situation I'm in. So, but uh, I feel good, like you said. Yeah, I did have that injury, and this is a year that I'm removed from the injury, and I, I feel really good. My body feels good, and, uh, yeah, I can't wait to see what the season holds for sure. Season so far for you has been one made three-pointer after another, many of those coming here in the near future. But there are some things that the stats don't show when it comes to your style and the game you play. Where do you think that is? Uh, where do you think? Where do I think it is? Yeah, as far as what the stats can't say about what you'd bring to this team and on the floor. Yeah, for sure. Um, I really try to be like a leader in the locker room on the court. Uh, given I am a veteran uh, here, um, my hustle plays. I try to you know get deflections, uh, take charges, take get steals. Uh, maybe some things that don't show up on the stat sheet, and uh, I try to bring a lot of energy as well as diving on the floor, making sure my teammates are you know have their confidence up as well as I. So. Brian brought up the three point shooting, and I have to imagine a lot of work went into that. What did fans not see? All, all the work that went in behind the scenes this last off to, season to to now see what we're seeing on the court from you. I mean, like countless hours in the gym in the mornings after practice, uh, off days, days where we do have practice. Um, coach has been working with me uh, as well as the confidence thing. You know, once you see a few go in. Uh, it, it really opens up your confidence and uh, the rim looks a little bigger. So I'm really happy, uh, glad that the coaches were able to work with me with that and glad that I was able to produce, for sure. All the hours, all the time that it has taken for you to perfect your your shooting motion, what goes into that? And over the course of your career growing up and through high school, have you tweaked it a little bit to get it to where it is now, where it is so dynamite? Um, well, honestly, uh, I think since the injury, I, I came in with a brace on uh, that's been removed. I've never really had a brace on before or really any brace of that uh, matter. And uh, like I said, again, uh, once you see a few go through, it's like it just starts rolling one after another and it, it starts to feel good. Your confidence starts to build up. Um, having a year removed, uh, learning tempo of the game, letting the game come to you, a lot of learning experiences throughout my years here. So I think that all contributes in to my success so far this year. Coach Cronin has talked a lot with all the new guys on the team this year that there's going to be some experimentation, figuring out which guys fit the best in certain situations. For you then, as one of those players, how do you best set yourself up for success to be able to handle perhaps a lot of different things that might get thrown at you? Um, yeah, like I said earlier, I mean, my main goal and our main goal as a team is to just get better every day, day in and day out. And we got to realize like one day it could be someone and the other day it could be someone else. So, I mean, it's really we all got to be ready. We all got to be prepared. We all put in a lot of hard work. And so when our number is called and I have a good feeling that whenever somebody's number is called, we're going to be ready to play. Will McLennan joining us on the Bruin Insider Show, UCLA basketball player for Nick Cope. I'm Brian Fenley. You're good on the court. I also noticed on Instagram you've got a good caption game. <laughs> so what you write for captions, like a lot of people try to make it interesting. You do a really good job at that. What goes into what you decide in what your caption is going to be when you post a picture? Yeah, um, honestly, like, I try to bring stuff, like, personality. I try to bring my personality out, what I've been through, through my whole basketball career, um, how I felt 
um, how I feel like I'm treated and what I want to do, honestly. And I just try to, you know, make something that's either catchy or just like really meaningful behind uh, the picture and try to grab grab the attention. You'll also see, if you check out Will on social media, he's he's in the NIL game. And so I'm curious, just from an athlete's perspective, I think there's a lot of people that are still just trying to understand NIL, how it all works. Yeah. As an athlete who's been able to benefit from NIL, just help educate people on, on how that aids you guys as, as student athletes. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, NIL, uh, it's, it's a major thing now this year in basketball. And, you know, I try to uh, pick the brands that, like, most represent me and, like, because your page is really a representation of yourself, so you don't want to really just have a whole bunch of different endorsements not really knowing what it's going to do for you. So um, I try to uh, brand get brand deals with uh, things that I feel like are important, uh, things that I want to represent myself. And, um, yeah, it's really been a blessing this year with NIL and everything. But I also try not to worry so much about NIL and just try to focus on basketball and everything will play out itself. With that said, beyond basketball, what is most important to you? Beyond basketball, I mean, family, friends, having a good relationship with yourself and others, just being a good person, too, just always just being a good person no matter who you're interacting with because um, being a good person says a lot about you and will get you uh, a long way in life. With all these new international guys on the team this year, I'm wondering, when it comes to basketball, Anything on the court, you know, they play a little bit differently over in Europe. Anything you've picked up on maybe saying, hey, I, I could fit that into my game somehow? Um, for the European, I mean, they have, like, they have a good feel for the game, honestly. Uh, they really have a good, like, a Euro step. They have a good vision. They have good um, – playmaking with the ball so I mean I just try to I mean look at pick some things off maybe here and there um but yeah that's pretty much who's the funniest guy on the team funniest guy on the team would probably be Sebastian Sebastian's probably one of the funniest guys on the team for sure and and does that come out off the court like you said the personalities they show on the plane yeah. they show at the hotel where are you guys outside of hoops able to have fun and just really really take in each other's company? Honestly, it's every interaction off the court. Even sometimes <laughs> – every interaction off the court, it's always, uh, you know, we want to keep it lighthearted. We want to build a bond because good chemistry goes a long way in the March too as well. So we want to keep a good bond everywhere. Even in the training room, we have good conversations. Everybody around us has great personalities from the nutritionist to the training facility to the weight room guys like – Everybody has a good personality, so I think that's uh, really important to a successful program. And you talk about making those improvements every day, having that good chemistry. You now, your third year here in this program, you're suddenly one of the older guys with, with all the freshmen on this team. So how do you see your role on, on this team overall, whether that be on the court or, or off the court? Yeah, I mean, I really want to set an example both on and off the court. Um, with school, I want to set an example with how you take care of yourself, taking care of your bodies, um, staying inside the house, making the main thing the main thing because we're all here to play basketball for sure, but we're at a great institution. Um, education is very important, so I think just telling the guys that, setting a good example for everybody, being a leader. Last one from me, beyond hoops, and that can take you some far places, but when it comes to education, in studying what is most captivating to you and what you like to focus on with studying yes um well with studying i like time management i like being in a nice like uh, silent place where i can just focus um i like learning about new things in sociology uh going to class is very interesting um, and it's it's also really fun uh, going to class and everybody around you is super smart. You're like, <laughs> you feel like you want to like, yeah, everyone's around you is super smart. And I think that's like one of the things that really stood out to me is that you're just walking and there could be future doctors, future dentists, future CEOs everywhere around you. And I think that's the most like captivating thing about being here. So being surrounded by all of that great basketball great education you know what have you learned about yourself so far here at UCLA how have you seen yourself just grow as a person yeah I mean I've, I've seen myself um really uh building into the to Bruin uh 
uh, I don't know if you want to say definition, but like hard work and dedication. That's why everybody's here. And I feel like that's why I'm here as well uh, with hard work, getting better. Uh, it's not going to be good all the time. There's going to be dark days. And I feel like even being here, everyone around you knows that. And they're here for a reason, and everyone's here for a reason. And, and I think that's that's what it is, honestly. Well, you, as we wrap up this conversation, you are an epitome of perseverance. And you got the smarts off the court. On the court, hard to find somebody with a higher court IQ <laughs> and vision with a rock in your hands than, than yourself. Will McClendon, UCLA basketball player. For Nick Cope, I'm Brian Fenley. Will, thanks so much for allowing us to, to dive into your life. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for having me.